We want to add ranks just beside our dataset. We also want to keep the data recording serial unchanged. Are you thinking about sorting or manually counting? We might have better alternatives to those. Hello there, this is Fariha Tulgum from Excel Demi, your one-stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA-related answers. Here is a data set of 10 people with their monthly income. We will add their ranking in column D in different orders. Anytime the value changes, the rankings will get updated instantly. We are using Excel 365 here. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. How to create an auto ranking table in Excel. There are three widely used functions to create an auto ranking table in Excel. These are rank, rank.eq, and rank.avg. Let's see the application of these functions in this data set with seven records. Let's try with D column and E column first. As we can see, the syntax and the result of rank and rank.eq functions are quite the same. The rank function is available in all Excel versions, but soon to be outdated. On the other hand, rank.eq is available in Excel 2012 and higher versions. It will replace the rank function soon, so it's preferable to use the rank.eq function. Now here on column F, we will use the rank.avg function. Unlike rank and rank.eq, rank.avg function is providing ranks in fraction for William and James because they have the similar amount of monthly income. Rank dot avg will get you the average of both ranks 3 and 4, that's 3.5. Here we will get ranks for monthly incomes using the rank.eq function in ascending order. Let's try a formula first in cell d5. Now let's break down the formula for you. Here, the function will look for C5 in the income cell range, which is C5 to C14, and count the rank of C5 from the list and give us its rank in ascending order, since we have used one here. Here we have made the cell range C5 to C14 absolute using F4 key, because we will be using fill handle tool. There might be some changes in row number which we do not want for our range enter now let's use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner to autofill rest of the cells there you go so we can see the lowest monthly income has rank 1 and the highest monthly income has rank 10 In this example, we will get ranks for the monthly incomes using rank.eq function in descending order. Let's try a formula first in cell D5. Let's break down the formula for you. Here, rank.eq will look for the rank of C5 or the monthly income of Olivia from the cell range of C5 to C14 and the order is 0 for descending order. Here we have made the cell range C5 to C14 absolute using F4 key because we will be using fill handle tool. There might be some changes in row number 
which we do not want for our range. Enter. Let's use fill handle or just double click on the bottom right corner. There you go. Rest of the cells have been autofilled. So here we can see that the lowest monthly income has ranking number 10 and the highest income has the ranking number 1. You can also avoid using the order. Without that, let's use closing parenthesis. See, it gives us the same value. We already discussed how rank.eq and rank.avg function handles duplicate cell values. Here we will combine the counter function with rank.eq function so that even duplicate values get different ranks. Let's try the formula first in cell D5. Let's use fill handle or double click on the bottom right corner of the cell to autofill the rest of the cells. Here, let's break down the formula for you. Rank.eq part gets us the rank in descending order. And for the count of functions, let's go to cell D9 or the rank of William. Here we can see count of function looks for C9 from the range C5 to C9 and it returns 1. Here we have added minus 1 in the latter part of our formula. It subtracts the additional part that comes from the return of countif. Now for James, the same formula we can see that C5 to C10 is found twice. So the return here will be 2 and minus 1 will get us rank plus 1. As a result, James will have an additional rank than William. Let's change the format here. Due to using count if function and minus 1, our ranking column got the same format as monthly income. Let's change it to general. Now we can see that the highest value is ranked 1 and due to William and James having monthly income 12,000, they have ranking 6 and 7 and rest of the records are ranked accordingly. From these three examples you can clearly understand how to auto rank a table in Excel. You can practice this problem with the help of Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.